Nintendo first announced Super Mario 3D World, I thought to myself, great, a game just like the one on 3DS, this is exactly what the Wii U needs. The fact that Nintendo had seemingly slapped a few new players into 3D land and tried to pass it off as an interesting new title for their desperate console had made me wonder if Nintendo was losing their golden touch. I played the demo at E3 and it was exactly as I had expected. Gimmicky, disjointed, and completely predictable. Then they started to announce new features. They showed creative levels and exciting power-ups. They showed amazing music. Finally it was all coming together. This was more than just an upscaled 3D land. This is everything wonderful that Mario has ever been. The objective of Super Mario 3D World is quite simple. Guide Mario and friends through an obstacle course filled with enemies, hills, and hidden prizes to reach the goalpost at the end of the level. Much like Super Mario 3D Land, 3D World takes Mario's tricks and abilities from games like Super Mario Galaxy and brings them into a semi-2D playing field. 3D World also introduces a brand new spinning jump technique, which allows players to reach new heights by spinning the control stick in a circle before jumping. Like its predecessor, 3D World locks players onto an 8-way grid of movement rather than the full analog control afforded in past Mario games. The camera angles and even many levels are designed specifically with this in mind, which makes a lot of the platforming much more enjoyable, but sometimes you will be wishing you had a little bit more freedom. Nintendo has gone guns blazing with the Wii U's gamepad gimmick for Super Mario 3D World, letting players stun enemies, discover secrets, break blocks, and more by interacting with the gamepad's touchscreen. This concept is very good in theory, but in practice it diverts attention from the main screen, and by the time you focus on getting everything done with the touch screen, you may as well have just done it traditionally. Fortunately, the game allows players to blow into the gamepad's microphone to reveal most secrets the gamepad helps hide, which streamlines the treasure hunting process while making it less distracting for the player. 3D World also reintroduces players to the selection between Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, and Toad as playable characters each of whom bring their own style to the game. Peach, for example, is much slower than the other characters, but she can hover in mid-air for a short time. This is a really nice hint of customization for players, but unfortunately its effects are not strongly felt. Levels in 3D World are designed with a complete disregard for these abilities. On the one hand, this is wonderful for cooperative play, a feature introduced in the new Super Mario Bros. series, and functioning in a very similar manner for 3D World, though greatly improved by 3D World's open design. On the other hand, however, it's a shame that we can mindlessly complete level after level without once thinking about which character is the right one for the job. While the tradition for 3D Mario titles is to feature a handful of courses with several missions each, 3D World draws inspiration from its predecessor and takes us back to the original Mario style. That is, a world map with a huge number of one-off linear stages. While I can't say that I fully agree with this direction, I do understand that it was a choice made to better accommodate new players to the Mario experience. Many of these stages are teeming with creativity, and the ready-to-roam world map is a refreshing scheme. But unfortunately, it hides few secrets, all disappointing, and shows more wasted potential than the true genius it could have been. Anyone remotely familiar with the Mario series will recognize the Super Mushroom and Fire Flower, both of which reprise their roles in 3D World. 3D World also marks the return of several past Mario power-ups, including the Tanuki Suit and the Mega Mushroom. But it also introduces a number of fun new abilities and disguises, many of which are given a tragically brief time to shine. The two new power-ups that 3D World likes to tout are the Double Cherry and the Super Bell. The Double Cherry allows players to take control of several Mario clones, which is hectic and often confusing, but nonetheless requires a good amount of thinking in organizing your entire army of Marios and offers a great deal of fun. The Super Bell, on the other hand, is the game's central gimmick which turns the characters into cats and lets players climb, scratch, and dive their way to the finish. The appropriately named Cat Suit allows more advanced players to put their fancy fingers to the test and perform exciting acrobatic stunts, while still allowing new players to complete the game more easily by climbing walls and even flagpoles to grab one-ups with ease. This theme of cats is something that permeates the whole game, like the Tanuki Suit did in Super Mario 3D Land. Upon seeing the cat-themed Goombas and Bullet Bills, I initially thought the whole idea was taken way too far, but as it turned out, their altered attack patterns actually make for some pretty refreshing enemies. One of the most interesting changes, and the one that I think is most reflective of Super Mario 3D World's style, is that the star coins traditionally found in New Super Mario Bros. and even in Super Mario 3D Land have been changed into green stars, designed much like power stars from the 3D Mario games of old. This change seems insignificant at first, but what it highlights is the explorative aspect of every Mario title. 
Because Nintendo has designed these hidden collectibles after Power Stars, we get a much greater sense that 3D World is a true balance between side-scrolling and 3D platforming, rather than either's subtle triumph over the other. As with most Mario games, the bosses in 3D World are generally nothing to write home about. There are two of them, however, specifically designed to take advantage of 3D World's cat suit and double cherry, and they both make for some of the best boss fights in Mario series history. And the real delight in Super Mario 3D World comes from this sort of creative level design that's found all throughout the game. You'll ride dinosaurs across open waves, skate across patches of ice, and even find yourself racing to beat your best time in exciting Mad Dash levels. While many of 3D World's stages are not particularly noteworthy, there are just as many that take pre-existing mechanics or even invent completely new ones to bring refreshing and creative new gameplay to the series. Beyond using traditional Mario controls in new ways, Super Mario 3D World introduces a whole series of levels with Captain Toad, which have players walk around in small, three-dimensional space to collect five green stars. Captain Toad is unable to jump, meaning that players must rotate the camera to view the course from several different angles in order to find the path to progress. In this way, Captain Toad levels are an interesting brand of puzzles that offer a wonderful sideshow without distracting too heavily from the main attraction. Different levels in the main game of Super Mario 3D World take inspiration from all across the Mario spectrum. Some are heavily influenced by Super Mario Bros. 3, some by Super Mario World, some by Galaxy, and yet they all tie together in an extremely coherent game. One particularly memorable sequence had players free-falling to get coins, a la Lockjaw's Locker from the very tangentially related Donkey Kong Country 2. References to past games go as far as the sound design, which takes several cues from everywhere along the Mario series' history. And by the end of the game, these levels can get legitimately quite difficult. Several times throughout my journey, I found myself losing lives faster than I was gaining them, which hasn't happened to me in a Mario game in years. Oddly enough, or maybe reasonably enough, Perhaps the highest point of praise I found in Super Mario 3D World is the game's soundtrack. I've always been a bit of a dork for video game music, but Super Mario 3D World is one of the few games where I find that it really makes a huge difference. The sound of the game is done in a jazzy, big band style, performed and recorded by a live orchestra with real instruments, and it couldn't be more exciting. The soundtrack also provides extremely high fan service by calling back music from Super Mario Bros. 2 to Mario 3D Land, and nearly everything in between. I won't spoil the specific selections for you, but it's freaking amazing. The sound quality is naturally very high, but the memorable tunes from 3D World don't get caught up in overcomplexity, and they sit perfectly with the rest of the great Mario repertoire. One particularly memorable level has a soothing, calm piano tune playing over a high action battle against bullet bills and flying dry bones, which to me juxtaposes the actual franticness of Mario games with the dear memories that they provide in an extremely poignant way. The Verdict It is the purest, most polished Mario game to date. Super Mario 3D World takes every bit of experimentation that the Mario series has done over the years and wraps it into one cohesive package. For this reason, it's hardly a daring title, but it's still one of extremely high quality. From specific references to gameplay style in general, everything that Mario has ever been comes together to form a title that is the purest essence of the franchise as a collective whole. 3D World is no substitute for a tried and true 3D Mario experience, nor is it quite like any 2D Mario game. Instead, it is a bridge. A perfect merger of these two styles that unites the very best of all things Mario and can leave very few unsatisfied. By showing players flashes of brilliance and taking them away a bit too soon or making a bit too little of them, it does leave a lot to be desired. But nonetheless, Super Mario 3D World unquestionably remains the best title to grace the series in years. And come on, what's cuter than Mario in a cat suit? It's Toad in a cat suit. Nothing is cuter than Toad in a cat suit.